Hey Nintendo, it makes zero sense why we can't play Metroid Fusion legally on the Nintendo Switch! That's it! I'm always out and about looking for something fun to talk about in the world of gaming. I don't want to talk about just any random thing. I don't want to make an eShop video going, Hey, check out these sales! Half off of Dingery Doo 5! Not my type of thing. I want to talk about stuff that I genuinely find interesting and have something to say uh, in regards to. And this was very interesting to me. Unavailability of classic titles is holding game culture back, says Platinum Games Hideki Kamiya. You know, the little glass-wearing bastard that tells us Bayonetta 3's development is going smoothly every year. The way we play and consume classic video games has become a hot topic of late, thanks largely to some rather shady practices being employed by collectors to boost the value of certain titles. Uh, when they're talking about WADA selling a sealed Mario for $2 million, it's all just like a little inside scam to boost the values of their collection. There's a million videos about there about how WADA's uh, sketchy. If you want to learn about that, go check that out. It's uh, very interesting. And WADA, hey! <laughs> while some people are keen to increase the value of their collection while it sits on the shelf, those of us who simply want to play and enjoy video games are losing out because in a lot of cases the reason retro games are worth so much is down to the fact that there's literally no other means of playing a certain game or other than it's other than in its original form this comes from nintendo life by the way i apologize to put the gap to the uk boys hello my lovely people vgc posed this question to platinum games hideki kamiya an avid retro gamer and collector he says that he understands the appeal of getting a particular physical title in the best possible condition but laments that people who simply want to play games are often missing out as a collector myself i understand the lure of wanting to have that game in sealed package people want the value of that package and not necessarily the game itself but as a fan it's a problem if somebody wants to play a game but they can't get it because it's being traded these in these ridiculous marketplaces and it's absolutely true uh sealed games even loose games like i was stated earlier i want to play metro fusion metro fusion loose on ebay it's just going through the roof in price right now because hey nintendo's promoting it all over social media they're like man are you excited about Metroid Dread? Well, Metroid Fusion's the one before this. It's a great game. You should play it. And everyone's like, really? How do, how do we do that? And they're like, buy a Wii U. It's on the virtual console over there. Not here. Not on the Switch for, you know, we could do it. It's possible. You could also buy, you know, the bootleg version or download it illegally, which we obviously would be against. But hey, the only legal way you can do it is is to do that, really. Just to, to buy a Game Boy game for an unbelievable expensive amount or buy a fucking Wii U. It's like, it's like, it's like, you have the game, you own the game completely. It's right, there's like right there. Just go, here, consumers would like to, to buy this. Let's allow them to give us money in exchange for a good that we have, there's no problem. This is just something that can happen. Ah! He had particularly stern words to say about those companies which own the IP to certain desirable games, but don't make them available digitally at a reasonable price. And the responsibility for keeping those games available belongs to the company that owns the IP. It's absolutely true. Literally, that's all. It, like, so many games could just be just, you could, why? I don't understand why they're not on digital platforms, digital shops. Obviously, Nintendo's is a little weird. Uh, the, the Nintendo games go on, like, NES, Super Nintendo online thing, and then everyone else can sell theirs, but, like, they don't have game. They don't have Game Boy. They don't have Game Boy Advance. They don't have 64. They don't have a ton of stuff that they should. The Wii. When the Wii came out, it was 64 at launch. They're like, "Would you like to play Mario 64 still? Here. That's you telling me the Switch can't do that. If you genuinely are defending Nintendo and saying the Switch can't do that, you are an absolute moron and you don't deserve to be here. Get the fuck out." This is something that, can, that Nintendo could do easily, but they're trying to incentivize their online, but they don't want to incentivize too much. They don't want to make it too good of a deal. Like, it's only $20. We don't want to give you 64 Anyways, I'm going on a rant here. This is a bit of a rant video, obviously. If you didn't know, it's not really news. It's just me ranting, wanted to rant. If people want to play a classic game and they can't because it's not available on new platforms and can't be found in its original form either, that's like a threat, which... <laughs> If that's really like a threat it's holding it's he's saying it's like a threat to the market really but it's just like that's a little extreme okay i mean maybe maybe you know what maybe tiny glasses man might be right it's holding game culture back the people who own the rights to these games should be actively making moves to preserve game culture and making games available to everyone who wants to play them like books you can just get you can get an old book you can get a new book you can get a digital book you can get an audio book there's so many different avenues for books if people own books like get it on everything available just i want to make money on this product that i put work into and nintendo's just over here just like we don't buy the new product only buy the new product we'll hype up the old product and in, in, in you know in the lead up to the new product we'll say hey remember all the old products that you liked about this new product that was like led up to this new you, you you they're awesome but fuck you buy just this one how about that well they think people are gonna buy metro fusion and be like all right i'm good fusion was tight but like 
I'm good, all right? <laughs> no, if anything, if you make Fusion available, people will could dip their feet in for a cheaper price. You can put Fusion for $10, $15 on the eShop. They go, ooh, that's delicious. I would like more of that. And here it is. Here's my 60 doll hairs. Give me the gum. And then there you go. It really is only better for everyone involved. But I feel like Nintendo just doesn't see that. Like, no, nope, can't do that. It's going to water down this new product. Who knows what they're thinking anyways. Nintendo Life just goes on to be like, hey, this is really ironic that they do this because they charge games for higher amounts and blah, 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 blah. It's just so weird because it's like the waters are so muddy. We've got Earthbound on the Wii U. You've got all this stuff on the Wii U that's just not on the Switch. They put the fucking original Mother game. I believe it was called Mother Zero or something like that on the Wii U, it's Mother 1, English translation that was like sitting on the, in just the Nintendo servers forever because it was already translated. And then they finally said, you know what, here, fuck it, here it is on the Wii U. And everyone rejoiced. We're like, oh my God, we can finally legally have this. This is great. We don't have to do the legal ROM or whatever, blah, blah, blah. We can officially support the product. This is fantastic. And it was just left on the Wii U. And it's just over there. It's just, it's just that's it. You want to go, you want to play it legally? Go buy a Wii. That's it. The only way to play that game legally is to fucking get a Wii you and download it on the eShop. Like, what the hell, Nintendo? Why do you make it so hard? We're four years into the Switch and you trickle these garbage ass, not even the games we want. Like, gar like, look, it's Clayboys 2 on the Super Nintendo that 10 people bought. Remember that game? No one remembers it, Nintendo. We want to play the games that we, that we love, that were critically acclaimed, that we literally pester you about non-stop in probably emails, social media posts, videos, any way we can tell you we want a product, we do it, and you just go, you don't know what you want. Th trust me, you don't. You want this random bullshit that no one's ever heard of. Blows my mind. Anyways, Nintendo will never learn. Obviously, we are decades and decades into this, and it, d it doesn't change. It won't change, unless maybe we get some new younger people in the higher ups at Nintendo going, hey! I grew up wanting these things and you guys didn't listen, so I'm going to help uh, do this because I know this will do well for the company. It's going to do well regardless, like literally putting Metroid Fusion on the eShop to buy would not hurt anything. It's not going to be like, well, I'm going to unsubscribe from the Switch Online now because they got Metroid Fusion. Like, why would I do that? Like, no, they bought the Switch Online to play online games. No one's incentivized by those shitty fucking games you pump out on the NES and SNES. Literally only buy it as a necessity to play the online games like Splatoon and Mario Kart and stuff like that. That's it, Nintendo. You're fooling yourself if you think otherwise. Anyways, that's my rant, baby. Keep dreaming! So I want to say thank you to your loyalty, thank you for your support.